On Monday Night Raw, they basically told us who's going to be next in line to challenge Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship. That being Shinsuke Nakamura. But there's another X Factor here, and that's the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And even though we got some questions answered about Rollins on Raw, we really don't know what's next for Cody Rhodes. So what is going to be next for Cody moving into payback in September? Cody wrapped up his feud with Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam in the aftermath. Basically told you that Cody Rhodes eventually is going to get his run as the Undisputed Champion and being the guy to take down Roman Reigns. At least that's what I got from it. I do expect Cody versus Roman at WrestleMania 40. And if SummerSlam didn't tell you that, they gave you a nice little seed planted on Monday Night Raw as well. When Cody Rhodes was talking about the moment with Brock Lesnar, talking about the phone call with his mother, and basically said, you don't realize what just happened. Brock Lesnar acknowledged you talk about Cody Rhodes. And then before he could elaborate, that's of course when Seth Rollins came out. We got the setup for the main event. You guys saw what happened. And again, Shinsuke Nakamura turning heel on Monday Night Raw and taking down Seth Rollins, basically setting his sights that he's coming for the World Heavyweight Championship. I do expect Nakamura versus Rollins in some capacity to end up on payback. But where does that leave Cody Rhodes? I don't expect Cody Rhodes to be challenging for the World Heavyweight Championship because even though he doesn't have to win it, that's not the title that he's going after. That's not his story. His story is the WWE Championship that Roman Reigns holds. Dusty Rhodes held the World Heavyweight Championship. He never held the WWE title. So there's no reason for Cody Rhodes to challenge for the World Heavyweight title. Maybe someday, maybe in a few years from now, after he has a run with the WWE Undisputed Championship. But right now, the World Heavyweight title is not Cody's story. And listen, maybe they still will have Cody challenge for the World title. I could easily see them just throwing all the Monday Night Raw main eventers, if you will, in like a big four-way or five-way at payback for the world title. Seth, Cody, Finn, Priest, Nakamura in like a fatal five-way. I'm not saying that's going to happen. We haven't even gotten something like that in a long time. I'm just throwing out ideas. Nonetheless, I see Nakamura versus Rollins one-on-one, -on -one, but maybe Cody's going to be involved with the Judgment Day. Dominic Mysterio, Rhea Ripley basically said to Cody Rhodes that they got unfinished business, even though Cody beat Dominic clean as a whistle at Money in the Bank. Evidently, Judgment Day is coming back for more. And we also got a ton more tension between Damian Priest and Finn Balor coming out of SummerSlam, coming out of Monday Night Raw. So really, where is it going to leave all these guys? I could easily see Cody maybe running it back with Dominic on payback. I'm not necessarily keen on that because we just saw it at Money in the Bank and I don't expect the result to be any different. Cody's not losing to Dominic Mysterio right now. Cody's not losing to basically anybody. It's one thing to pass out to Brock Lesnar at Night of Champions and then get pinned by Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. But like, I don't care who you are, you're not beating Cody Rose right now. I don't expect Cody to lose a matchup anytime soon. I think he's gonna go undefeated, if you will, up until Rumble season, up until WrestleMania when he inevitably fights Roman Reigns. But maybe they're just gonna give Cody some random one-off matchup that could be really a Monday Night Raw main event, but they gotta have Cody on payback, right? So maybe it's gonna be Cody versus Finn Balor. Maybe it's gonna be Cody versus Damian Priest. Maybe we start the show in Pittsburgh in September with Cody Rhodes versus Damian Priest. Cody Rhodes winning the matchup, and who knows, Damian Priest, I, I expect him, at least in my eyes, I think he's gonna cash in before WrestleMania 40. I think it's coming sooner rather than later. I thought we were gonna get it at SummerSlam. Maybe Payback's gonna be the night where Damian Priest cashes in the briefcase. Maybe he loses at the top of the show and wins with the title after a briefcase cash in at the bottom of the show. I don't know. And listen, realistically, looking past Payback, there's a ton of stuff that, honestly, Cody Rhodes can do to really have fun with just over the next few months, because WWE's only real uh, mission, if you want to call it, with Cody Rhodes is just keeping him hot, just giving him something to do. So they can have him work with the Judgment Day if you want, whether it's Dominic, Damian, Finn Balor. I would love to see a feud with Drew McIntyre. I know a report came out recently that McIntyre said he only wants to turn heel if it really makes sense. But McIntyre versus Cody Rhodes would be a hell of a program, man. Two of the best on Monday Night Raw. I don't think McIntyre wouldn't mind being a guy to continue to put over Cody Rhodes. In my opinion, though, McIntyre's been putting over a lot of people, making a lot of other people look good over the last few years. Bobby Lashley, Roman Reigns, 
Gunther multiple times this year. I want to see McIntyre get his run in a limelight, whether it's for the Intercontinental title, world title, just something of prominence. But if McIntyre versus Cody was just a big feud to keep Cody going in that red hot sense and just giving Drew McIntyre something to do, well, then at least I'll take it. A lot of people are speculating where we're going to get Cody Rhodes versus Bray Wyatt coming out of SummerSlam, but no word on Bray Wyatt's return and obviously no sight of it either. You know, there was this mysterious thing going on for several weeks on Monday Night Raw where random skulls were popping up in the background of random backstage segments and Becky Lynch literally went up to one one week. I don't know what that was about. There was like a bunch of Funko Pops in the background of like one of the interviews. It was very weird. I assume that had something to do with Bray Wyatt, but then again, no word on Bray Wyatt. No, didn't show up at SummerSlam, didn't show up in the Raw after SummerSlam, which is, you know, at least in some years has been, you know, kind of a resemblance of Raw after WrestleMania in a sense, where they try to do something big moving forward but no sign of him there so like i really don't know that's like i guess kind of the fun thing right now about cody rhodes is he's kind of his future is unpredictable it's kind of up in the air like it, predictable in the sense where you know he's not going to lose you know they're going to keep him red hot you know he's probably going to fight roman reigns at wrestlemania almost knocked my whole computer over but really you could just have fun with him man especially with fast lane you got saudi you got survivor series you got plenty of premium live events coming up you know i really wanted to see honestly I, like i'm not even joking when i say this cody rhodes versus logan paul and then your future i thought that would have been great but literally the day i'm filming this logan paul just announced he's doing another boxing fight uh in like october or something like that so i don't expect him in wwe till probably wrestlemania season but i don't know this is kind of just a short video today just to ramble off some ideas but also create the discourse with you guys i want to hear what you guys want to see cody rhodes basically get up to on monday night raw over the next few months who do you guys want to see him feud with Bray Wyatt, Drew McIntyre, Judgment Day guys. What do you guys want to see with Cody Rhodes basically to kill time until WrestleMania season? Let me know down below in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe as well and go find me across all social medias at No Nation Vlogs. And I will be live Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern time with Nick Storm Review, talking about anything and everything on AEW right now. All in, collision, all that stuff. Just wanted to give it a little plug. You guys can catch me live Thursday night, 8 p.m. with Nick Storm Review. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.